Pastor, Muzinda Rogugo. Come off here, as we. Oh, I'll mix my because of time, probably. Mm. I used to speak English, used to speak Swahili when I was working with the East African community, and I speak Uganda because I was born in the Buganda region of Uganda. Hallelujah. Faye, thank you very much. You have a better half now. God said it is not good for a man to be alone. I'll make him a helpman. Hallelujah. Somebody who's better than you to help you, sir. And God will give you a blessing because you have searched for his wisdom. And keep it up. Don't, don't settle for less. Let your hearts seek God in praises. I was going through my YouTube and I saw a lady who has been a worshiper in Nigeria. She was battered by her husband and she died. And I wondered and I said, how can you beat your fresh? The Bible says, the two shall become one fresh. And the lady is dead. A worshiper. So the devil does not fear us. I've seen pastors failing. Bishops. Men who had the high intelligence lose it completely. But if you stay tuned to the Holy Spirit, you will never make any mistake. As I speak to them, I speak to all of you. I've been married for over 40 years. So I can speak to each one of you. And my wife has never gone back home because she doesn't have another home. My home is her home. And God gave us four children. Gideon is number two. And he gave us now Rachel. Amen. Hallelujah. So God is a God of multiplication. Hallelujah. And they love those in laws. Pray for them. The Baganda say, Okusanga, Nyazara, Usanga, Malaru. And that's fire. We need the curse. Because families were made in heaven. Amen. And uh, if we can honor, 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 go to the maker's instruction, our marriages will be heaven on earth. You can hear from counselors, you can hear from all other things, but don't ignore the maker's instruction. Because if you buy a car, or if you buy a fridge, you go back to that book and refine a problem, the maker's instruction. So Jesus and God, they are the one who made our marriages. And I thank God. And I pray that eternity will come and we shall be separated. But before that, I made, I made it that I love my Margaret and I respect her. And through her, I've been blessed. 
So on this Easter, I want to touch a few things because time has gone. But I'll make sure that instead of 30 minutes, I'll use 20. 20. But I want you to be very, very careful and listen. If you have a pen, write it down. Much of the scriptures, you have to go back and read them yourselves. This morning, I was preaching at Reach Out in Uganda. Margaret was leading in praising and worshiping. And we, we did a service together. And I was so blessed. Saturday, I was missing in London. And I was so blessed. So we are not limited by distance. We are not limited by locations. But where the Holy Spirit wants you, he will take you. Hallelujah. Let us pray. Father in heaven, we just want to thank you for the great things you are doing amongst us. We pray that you bless us and we pray, Lord God, that you continuously lift us to higher levels. And we want to understand the meaning of Easter. In Jesus' name, open our understanding, open our minds. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. There's no way you can talk about the resurrection without talking about the promise of God that he made before Jesus Christ came. You cannot just be grateful for the finished work, but you must understand where did Jesus come from and for what purpose. The Bible says, for this purpose, the Son of God was manifested that he may destroy the works of the enemy, the devil. So he came on a mission. In Matthew, I need a quick reader. Matthew, chapter 1, from verse 18. Another one read also up to 18 to 22. Another one read Isaiah chapter 9, verse 6. Jesus came as a prophet as a promise and he came for specific means and the name represents a character and the character is always yes. represented by a name Matthew chapter 1, one from, verse 18 to from verse 18 to 22 this is how Jesus the Messiah was born his mother was Mary was engaged to be married to Joseph but before the marriage took place while she was still a virgin she became pregnant through the power of the Holy Spirit. Jesus, to whom she was engaged, was a righteous man and did not want to disgrace her publicly. So he decided to break the engagement quietly. As he considered this, an angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream. Joseph, son of David, the angel said, do not be afraid to take Mary as your wife. For the child within her was conceived by the Holy Spirit. And she will have a son, and you are to name him Jesus, for he will save this peop his people from their sins. All of this occurred to fulfill, to fulfill the Lord's message through his prophet. Yes. Have you finished? Yes. Continue. Have you finished the, the, whole, cha the whole chapter? Okay. Look. The virgin will conceive a child. She will give birth to a son, and they will call him Emmanuel, Emmanuel. Which, which means God is, with us. God is with us. When Joseph woke up, he did as the angel of the Lord commanded and took Mary as his wife. But he did not have sexual relationships with her until her son was born. Hallelujah. 
and Joseph named him Jesus. Jesus. The name Jesus means the savior of the world. Mm -hmm. So he came as a savior. Mm -hmm. If you don't understand that, salvation is far from you. Mm -hmm. The name represents a character, mm -hmm. and the characters are represented by names. Mm -hmm. If I say that man is a crook, mm -hmm. you start to be aware. <laughs> hide all your belongings. If I say that man is a thief, mm -hmm. what do you see? You run away. You just run away because you don't want mm -hmm. to be in a relationship with the Lord. Mm -hmm. If I say this man is a fighter, mm -hmm. you just get away because you don't want to be kicked and to be beaten up. Mm. So his name shall be called Emmanuel, Emmanuel which means God, God is, is with, with us. us. When things are going well, he's mm. with us. Amen. When things are going wrong, he's with us. He's with us, he's with us in the day, he's Amen. with us in the night. Amen. He's with us on the mountain, he's with us in the valley. Amen. And when things go wrong, he will fix them for us. Amen. He will. Jesus came for a purpose. And the Bible says he went on doing good and delivering those who were captives of the devil. Acts of Apostles chapter 10 and verse 34 to 38. Acts of Apostles chapter 10, 34 to 38. 34. Then Peter replied, uh -huh. I see very clearly that God shows no favoritism. Mm -hmm. In every nation, he every nation, he accepts those who fear him mm -hmm. and do what is right. Exactly. This is the message of good news for the people of Israel, mm -hmm. that there is peace with God through Jesus Christ, mm -hmm. who is Lord of all. You know that what happened throughout Judea, beginning in Galilee, after John began preaching his message of baptism, and you know that God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Spirit and with power. Yes. Then Jesus went around doing good and he healing. Went everywhere doing good. Healing all who were oppressed by the devil. Healing all that were oppressed. For God was with him. For God was with him. God is with us. Amen. And God was with him. Amen. To do everything he did. Mm. Therefore, we need Jesus in our lives. Amen. We need Jesus in our daily walk. We need Jesus when trouble strikes. Mm. We need Jesus when everything goes right. Mm. So for that purpose, he was manifested. Amen. But he was rejected. He was beaten. The chastisement of our time was on him. And by his stripes, we were healed. Long time ago. Come on. Isaiah chapter 53. From verse 3. Verse 3. He was despised and rejected. Mm -hmm. A man of sorrows. Mm -hmm. Acquainted with deepest grief. Mm -hmm. We turned our backs on him yes. and looked the other way. Mm -hmm. He was despised mm -hmm. and we did not take care. Continue. Yet it was our weaknesses he carried. Mm -hmm. It was our sorrows that weighed him down. Mm -hmm. And we thought his troubles were a punishment from God. A punishment for his own sins. But he was pierced for our rebellion. Yes. Crushed for our sins. Mm -hmm. He was beaten so we could be whole. He was whipped 
so we could be healed. All of us, like sheep, have strayed away. We have left God's path to follow our own. Mm -hmm. Yet the Lord laid on him the sins of us all. He was oppressed, mm -hmm. treated harshly, yet he never said a word. Exactly. He was led like a lamb to the slaughter, and as a sheep is silent before the shears. He did not open his mouth, unjustly condemned, he was led away. No one cared that he died without, mm -hmm. dissentan without descendants. That his life was cut short in midstream. Exactly. But he was struck down for the rebellion of my people. He had done no wrong. He had never received anyone. He had never deceived anyone. But he was buried like a criminal. Mm -hmm. He was put in a rich man's grave. But, uh, but it was the Lord's good plan to crush him and cause him grief. Yet when his life made an offering for sin, he will have many descendants. He will enjoy a long life. And the Lord's good plan will prosper in his hands. When he sees all that is accomplished by his anguish, he will be satisfied. And because of his experience, my righteous servant will make it possible for many to be counted righteous. For he will bear all their sins. I will give him the honors of a victorious soldier. Because he exposed himself to death, he was counted among the rebels. He bore the sin of many yes. and interceded for rebels. For rebels. We were rebellious. Mm. And on that judgment day, when he appeared before Pilate, he said, what can I do to Jesus, who is called the, the king of the Jews? All people said, crucify him. What wrong has he done? Crucify him. Then he said, what can I do to Barabbas? He said, release Barabbas. We'd rather go with the murderer, a rapper. We'd rather go with the killer instead of going with Jesus. Then he called for water, washed his hands. He said, his blood is not in my hands. And they said, his blood, let his blood be on us and the generation is to come. So that's why you are called, the, you, you rebelled. If you don't accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, you are going to hell. Because Jesus came to give you a chance to be born again. But if you stubbornly refuse, Wait for that time. There's heaven. There's hell. And there are only two places. You can pray it here. You can do whatever you want. But for sure, I want you to realize that one day you'll die. And you'll face the master. And you ask you, why didn't you accept me as your Lord and Savior? You say, I had my religion. Mm -hmm. A savior saves. Come on. A murderer murders. Mm -hmm. A thief steals. Mm -hmm. But a savior saves, saves. his people. Amen. Amen. So don't just push it. Mm -hmm. 1985, I was supposed to be dead. And the Lord just reminded me when I prayed for my situation. He said, do you remember 1985 you would have been dead? I was only 32 years. And he said, but the grace of God, by the grace of God, I have given you 37 more years. So I want to wake you up. A cart, a push cart, has many lives. Mm. 
When the dog comes and grab it and bite it, when it scratches them and it runs away and it goes to the tree, he says, I was going to be dead. Mm. When you're driving and it comes through the car, under the car, woo, goes to the other side. He says, oh, this car was almost destroying me. Well, you find it drinking your milk, mm. and you get it, and you throw it down with all your might. Mm. Then he says, oh, my master mm. is funny. Mm. <laughs> but finally, when it sleeps, it does not wake up. Mm. So don't think you have much time. You don't have much time. Mm. Today is your time to be saved, to change on this Easter. I want to finish with two scriptures. Death, as Mama was saying here, and the children, is not the final destination. First Corinthians, chapter 15 from verse 54, verse Verse 45 to verse 45 to verse 52. The, script, the scriptures tell us mm -hmm. the first man Adam became a living person. Mm -hmm. But the last Adam, that is Christ, is a life-giving spirit. Mm -hmm. What comes first is the natural body. Then the spiritual body comes later. Adam, the first man, was made from the dust of the earth while Christ, the second man, came from heaven. Earthly people are like the earthly man, and the heavenly people are like the heavenly man. Just as we are now like the earthly man, we will someday be like the heavenly man. What I'm saying, dear brothers and sisters, is that our physical bodies cannot inherit the kingdom of God. Mm -hmm. These dying bodies cannot inherit what will last forever. But let me reveal to you a wonderful secret. Mm -hmm. We will not all die, not but all we will die. all be transformed. transformed. It will happen in a moment, in, a moment. in the blink of an, eye. of an eye. When the last trumpet is yes. blown, for when the trumpet sounds, mm -hmm. those who have died mm. will be raised to live forever. Exactly. And we who are living well, will also be transformed. Shall be changed. Verse 15. Three. Verse 50? Yeah, I just read 52. Okay. You want 53? Mm -hmm. For our dying bodies must be transformed into bodies that will never die. Yeah, exactly. Our mortal bodies must be transformed into immortal bodies. Mm -hmm. Then when our dying bodies have been transformed into bodies yes. that will never die, mm -hmm. this scripture will be fulfilled. Fruit. Okay. Death is swallowed out. Uh, death, death is swallowed up in, up in victory. Oh, death, where is your victory? Where is your victory? Death, where is your sting? Where is your sting? For sin is in the is the sting that results in death. Yes. The law gives sin its power, mm -hmm. but thank God yes. He gives us victory over sin, sin. and death yes. through our Lord Jesus Christ. Oh, Lord Jesus Christ. We have the victory. Amen. We shall live because he lives. Amen. He died and resurrected. Amen. That's an example for us. Mm. And if you're wasting your time, go back and read this way. Mm. This body cannot inherit the kingdom of God. Mm. It must be changed. Come on. You spend much time on your body. Mm. There are two friends of the body. Smearing and the worms. And when you die, that's why they put things into your nose and your mouth. And if you, if they keep you for two, three days, the, the maggots will come from inside. Then they will say, he has started smelling. Let us bury him quicker. 
including your children and your wife. <laughs> it's marrying. Those are the two friends. So if you're going to waste your time, I want you to be reminded. Amen. Maggots and Mary. In the book of Mark, chapter 15, verse 16, and in Matthew, chapter 28, verse 20, that will be the conclusion. Verse 16, Mark, Mark chapter 15, verse 16. The soldiers took Jesus into the courtyard of the governor's headquarters, called the Praetorium, and called out the entire regiment. Mm -hmm. They dressed him in a purple robe, mm -hmm. and they drove thorn branches into a crown yes. and put it on his head. Then they saluted him and taunted him. Hail, king of the Jews. Mm -hmm. And they struck him on the head with a reed stick, mm -hmm. spit on him, mm -hmm. dropped to the, their knees mm -hmm. in mock worship. Mm -hmm. When they were finally tired of mocking him, they, exactly. took, they took off the purple robe, put his own clothes on him again, then they led him away by the, uh, to be crucified. Exactly. He was mocked because of you. Mm. He was beaten because of you. He was chastised because of you. The chastisements of our pain were on him. And by his stripes we were healed. So on this Easter, let it not only be to be put on a nice shoot like mine, nice shoes, and eat your food. Go deep and find out exactly. What is the meaning of Easter? He died a substitutionary death. Mm -hmm. You were supposed to be dead. You are supposed to be mocked. You are supposed to be beaten. But he said, let me do it for you. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Chapter 28 of Matthew, verse 20. Teach these new disciples to obey all the commands I've given you. And be sure of this. I am with you always, even to the end of the age. Yes. He is with us Amen. to the end of the earth. Amen. But that's when he appeared before, after resurrection. And he took them to the mountain where he had promised them. And he gave them instruction. But also in Mark chapter 16, verse 15. Just read that one and you finish. I'm within my 20 minutes. Amina. Just one more minute. Mark 16, mm -hmm. verse. Verse 15. Verse 15, it says, uh, And then he told them, Go into all the world and preach the good news to everyone. Mm -hmm. read, it, read from verse 13. They, they rushed back to tell the others, but no one believed them. No one believed that he's resurrected. Still later, he appeared to the 11 disciples as, yes. they, were, as they were eating together. Yeah. He rebuked them for their stubborn unbelief. Exactly. Because they, they refused to believe those who had seen him after he had been raised from the dead. Mm -hmm. Verse 15, and then he told them, go mm -hmm. into all the world and preach the good news to everyone. Mm -hmm. Anyone who believes and is baptized mm -hmm. will be saved. Mm -hmm. But anyone who refuses to believe will be condemned. Mm -hmm. These miraculous signs will accompany those who believe. They will cast out demons in my name. They will speak in new languages. They will be able to handle snakes with safety. And if they drink any poisonous drink, it will, won't hurt them. They will be able to place their hands on the sick and they will be healed. 
My brothers and sisters, after Jesus resurrected, he gave us a commission. But what have you done with that commission? You are grumbling, you are complaining. You are not positioning yourself to the believers. But I hope this is believers what? Miracle. Miracle center. Amen. We they that believe shall do all those things. Amen. The Bible does not say you are pastor. Amen. No. It doesn't say your elders. No. What did he say? Believers. Amen. So you chose a nice name. Believers, miracle. Amen. Congregation. Hallelujah. So I expect for you to go by that commission. Then we shall have many people laying hands on the sick. We shall have many people driving out demons. Amen. Because it was given to you, you can take it mm. or you can refuse it. Mm. But the Bible says they went everywhere preaching the word. The Lord fulfilling their word with signs and wonders, follow and wonders following them. Where are the signs? Where are the wonders? They are within us, but we have kept them in a hidden mood. So let us wake up. Let us do what we are supposed to do. And God will do what he promised he will do. He said, I resurrect on the third day. And he resurrected. It's not in that grave. It's not on that cross. Is in the sky as we sang the song, Men. So let us pray. Master and wonderful deliverer.